Okay. So, I think everybody knows how to do this now that we know how to interpret this x equals 0.6 max of x point, right? Mm -hmm. If you used 11, 12, 13, I'd be okay with it, okay? But easy to calculate the 12, so that's what I'm going to use. We use x equals 0.6 max of x. That is 12. So we want to find, we had to ask for the y-coordinate of the x equals 0.6 max sub x point, so it's asking for the y-coordinate of the x equals 12 point, right? So there it is. So to find the y-coordinate, we just project straight up, project over, and there it is, right? So what is that? Well, Okay, let's divide six and half. Yeah, now some of you, you know, I've, I, I, looking at your graphs, I see points pretty close to the vertex. I see points further out to the right. So different people are going to get different results, right? Mine doesn't look like five. Mine actually looks like probably four and a four point eight three two. Well, no. looks like it's between four and a half and five. Uh, if I do an honest subdivision. That's a fairly good equal subdivision into six parts, right? There's one, two, three, four, five. That is 4.8263, isn't it? Well, no. Okay, so what's that? 4.7, okay? So my estimate... I'm getting about 4.7. Okay? And the coordinates of this point, of course, are 12, 4.7. We estimate then y equals 12. Not y equals 4.7. I see that 12, and my hand wants to write it down. Okay? <laughs> Losing control over my connection between my brain and my writing, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, there's our estimate. Does that make sense? Okay, now see if you can do the next estimate, which is the estimate for um, y equals 0.2. Well, the next estimate is x equals 0.2 max x, but let's skip to the x and y coordinates of the point for which y equals 0.5 max y which ought to be pretty easy to calculate. So don't do 